hello everyone. It's 28 degrees. It's very humid. Diana Ross in full effect. Whew. And you're looking at me sitting down today because the fan that you might be able to see gets me better here. And I'm sitting against the motorcycle jacket like an idiot. Let's get rid of that. Oh, that helps. Today, it's uh, about 1978. I think. And uh, Gene Simmons has just discovered a little band called Van Halen. And that's all you need to know. Uh, today's Buddha is an EVH stripe series. It's, uh, it's, it's a strap shape. It's stripey. It's got the correct Fender headstock because this one's made by Fender. It says EVH on it, so you know it's extra very heavy. It's got a Floyd Rose on it, so you can do this. And it stays in tune, but it's set to dive only, so... You get a volume control, labelled tone. You get an output jack. You get a... You get this one humbucker, which I think is called a Wolfgang. Don't quote me on that. And it's just stuck in the body. <laughs> if you want to prop it up, you're putting something under it, or you're raising the pole pieces like I have. Can't believe it. <laughs> now, what do you get? Back plate has the Fender F on it. This is a Mexican girl from 2013. This particular one has the typical Fender fucking neck finish crack, so you know Fender built it. Um, the tuners are made by Goto and stamped with EVH. You'll notice the ball ends are sticking out because I think that's funky. <laughs> the other ends are in here. The Floyd Rose is branded EVH. I'm not sure who made it, but it's a very good unit. It's really easy to work with and of course plays really well as you'd expect. And I've just figured out why it's dive only. Yeah, maybe I should do something about that. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Now the pot is a funny, like, no friction thing. So if you take one of your pots and go hard with the contact cleaner and just... You'll get the same effect. It is the original Burns unit, or Borns, or some bloody thing. Um, it's a 500k pot. There's no... When I was in it, there was no treble bleed, which is a bit weird, because it says there is one. Uh, this thing. That little... Probably just looks like a black smudge to you guys, but that's the, that's your truss adjust. So you don't have to fuck around taking the neck off or anything like that to adjust the truss, which is currently absolutely arrow straight. It has 22 very large frets. The neck, don't have my glasses on. I can't see a join in it, but I've got a feeling it's actually two pieces of maple. Yeah, it is. Okay. So the fretboard's a separate piece. The neck is its very smooth, it's a hand-rubbed satiny thing. It's very, very slick, very smooth. It's also quite a nice shape. It's a nice D shape. It's not fucking wizard thin, like you'd, kind of like you'd actually expect, which is great for me. Compound radius. It starts at 12 inches and up here it's 16 inches, so it gets very flat up here. So we just crack on into it. pickup expressive and dynamic maybe because it's right there possibly because there's no other pickup at the neck creating magnetic pull on the strings science so as you can see <laughs> Floyd 
stays in tune. Boss OD3. Tone and volume are at noon and the drive is mm, just after nine o'clock, but not by much. <laughs> until you start really digging in. And where you pick makes a difference because there's just one pickup. something for the video right what you can do is you put a bit of modulation on you can do all that with it but I mean if you're looking at one of these you probably knew that it's actually a really cool guitar. The, the trim block in the Floyd is really heavy. It's a proper stainless unit. The whole thing is, it's put together really well, as you'd expect. These had a, the last list price I could find on one of these in New Zealand was 3699. Now, we just sold my girlfriend's car for 3700. So you could, <laughs> you could buy basic reliable transport for that much money, or you could buy one of these, which possibly came with a case. Um, I cannot compare it to the 5150 model, because I don't have one here to compare it to. I think they're similar, but hey, these ones aren't all relicked and 
got the weird shit hanging out of them. It's a it's a very tidy piece. It is basswood, so it's not mega heavy. And come on, the stripes are so cool. It's just all round if you want something to piss around with, basically. <laughs> just this raucous and a lot of fun this is not a bad way to go um, if you want to put another pickup in it you will need to file down the square edges a wee bit because the holes that this fit into are round and then of course you need to try and set the height of it this is dangerously close to the strings I can't even fit that Dunlop Jazz 3 pick in between the high E and the pole piece can't even fit probably one and a half of them between the low E and the full piece. Very cool guitar, especially if you like, if you like the Floyd and the single fucking thing, you could buy a VC Rich Gunslinger, I guess, as well. Buy one of those Kramer things that are cheap with the generic strap trim, but hey, whatever goats your boat and finds your lost remote and all that sort of bollocks. Anyway, EVH Stripes. Not a massive, you know, signature things dude, but hey, this is really cool. Give it a go. Build one yourself. Plenty of people do. And if you're really good, it'll be just as nice. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Something on the bench you're not going to care about. Something under the covers you have seen before. We will find something. We will return. We will rebuild. Take care, everyone. <laughs> 